Julep, pop, 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 Julep, pop, 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 Julep, pop, 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 pop. Well, hey guys, and welcome back to the channel. Now, I've got a pretty awesome product for you today. This is called the M1P scooter from Eohora. It's been sitting in my garage for the past two weeks, and I've been antsy and anxious to bust it open and see what it can do. <laughs> and it is not disappointed. It is a ton of fun to cruise around. I've seen uh, some pretty awesome terrain in the last couple days, taking this around the deserts. One of my favorite vehicles I've been on so far. Now, Eohora has three models to choose from. I think that this is the coolest looking one out of the three. Now, the M1 isn't cheap. It's $3,299. So let's uh, kick the review off, see what it can do, starting off with the speed test. The M1 has a 2000 watt brushless DC geared QS motor that's powered with a 60 volt, 30 amp hour high density lithium battery, which is just a massive, massive battery. Now that can be removed with the key and charged on the go, which takes four to six hours to do so. Ihora says that the scooter can take a rider up to 37 pounds on the highest of the three speed modes. I'm gonna show you how fast it can go on each of the speed modes, starting off with number one. Okay, let's see how fast this can go. I got a nice flat, straight uh, road here. Got it on speed mode one. Here we go. Uh, one is uh, 24, two is 31, three is 36. Woo! Oh, I actually got 37 for a second. So I guess 37 <laughs> is the top speed, which is right on with the rating. Man, that is fast <laughs> very fun. Oh, jeez. So probably 37 miles per hour doesn't seem fast for most of you, but for me on the M1, it feels like 50 to 60. <laughs> Man, I got a little bit nervous, especially as the stop sign was approaching, but that's got a great speed. 37 is actually right on with the rating. So they nailed that and uh, very impressed with how fast this can go. The M1 has one of the fastest accelerations I've seen on a vehicle so far. It's time to test just how fast that is. It's got a motorcycle style throttle, as you would have guessed, you know, full twist throttle. And the seamless iron alloy pipe frame weighs 178 pounds, can carry a rider up to 440 pounds. I'm 185, and so there's a lot of weight for this thing to haul, <laughs> to carry. Let's see how long it takes to hit that top speed. Okay, well, I've just got a big old grin on my face because this is just so much fun. <laughs> that has got a lot of power. You hit that throttle and it takes off. I mean, it almost, almost skids the tires on this nice new road here, but that is, I mean, that's gotta be one of my favorite accelerations out of any vehicle I've tried. I love it. The M1 has a range rating of 43 miles. I have a full charge on the scooter. Let's see how far I can go. You know, every now and again, I'll get stopped as I'm out on the trail. I review these off-road boards and some other cool looking bikes. But with the M1, I've gotten the most stares, the most people stopping by, stopping me along the trail, wanting to take a look at it, wanting to uh, know more about it. And it's just a cool looking scooter. I've never seen anything like this before. The cars. Hey, thanks. <laughs> and the coloring is fantastic. And they actually offer nine other colors. This is kind of just their basic, you know, their basic color. Even though it's a bigger, you know, vehicle, it's seven feet long, it still looks just sleek and slender. I've ridden three motorcycles in my life. This has a very similar feel to that. You know, when I'm turning, kind of weaving back and forth, it just, it's a very slow and gradual turn, which is something that you would expect for a scooter this size. For the most part, it feels well built. You can tell there's some quality material, you know, with the uh, grips and the handlebars. The only part that feels a little bit cheap is the deck, that covering where the battery's at is just kind of a cheaper plastic. That's the only part of the scooter that I didn't like. Everything else is solid, feels nice, looks nice. There's not a lot of rattling, even when, you know, hitting some of these manhole covers on the road. It's a very stable and sturdy feeling vehicle. 
I mean, you're looking at this and you're thinking, you know, you've, you've seen other motorcycles that kind of have this same style. And so you're just expecting as soon as you hit that throttle for it to just rev up like a motorcycle does and, and tear off. But this doesn't. It just took off and was silent and kind of surprised me because I was just kind of waiting for that noise to, to validate and to back up the power and it wasn't there. I've tested 300 watt scooters that make more noise than this does. What's nice about this is you can adjust the handlebars. It gives you a, a super wide grip and stance, which I do like. And they're raised up high, so easy to grab onto. I'm not bending over or like reaching out to grab the, the grips. Like everything is just really good size for my frame. The size rating for this is four foot six and above. It doesn't turn like I thought it was gonna turn. The reason for that is this big old fat rear tire it's actually you know, about twice the size in width as a front tire, and you have to use a little bit more pressure, a little bit more force to turn this than you think you would. But now that I'm used to it, this is the third day I've been riding this, I actually really like that. You don't want something this big and this fast to easily turn when you're going around a corner. You do want some pressure and resistance there so you don't overturn and lay down the scooter. Well, I mentioned the handlebars before, the width of those is actually 33.5 inches. You got a monster span on that, which is something that you do need for a vehicle this size. The grips are nice, they're made of a more expensive material. The brake levers are huge and you don't have to put a lot of pressure for them to engage. They are quite sensitive and again, I just love the way they look. The extra wide leather seat is fantastic. I've got no complaints there. I've done over 20 straight miles on this and there was no rubbing, no hot spots. It is large, it's form fitting and very comfortable. On the front of the deck, just below it, there's two foot pegs and they do pop out when you're riding and then just easily fold back in and get tucked right by the deck when you're not. I do wish they were raised about two inches higher when I first rode this, I had a couple sharp turns just as I was getting used to it, and I actually hit the road with those pegs. And then the kickstand, uh, there's a nice feature with that. As soon as you put it down, then it cuts the power. So even though the machine's on, if you hit the throttle, it won't go. That is a nice safety feature. The full twist motorcycle style throttle is very sensitive. From a standstill, as you saw in the acceleration test, it is instant. Uh, as I'm cruising about 25 miles per hour, I'll give a full throttle and it does throw you back a little bit. It still has some pretty good power when you're going at a good speed already. And there's no delay when you give or release it. It is instantaneous. In the front, there's a hydraulic shock front fork and in the rear, there's dual spring steel. Now the shocks do feel a little cheap. Uh, I did hit a couple rough sections uh, over the last few days, and when I did, uh, you know, it, it does rattle and shake quite a bit. Nothing to the point where I felt like I was out of control or anything. Now I understand why they would do like a cheaper suspension. You can drop a lot of money in something like that, and I think they wanted to make this more affordable to appeal to a larger audience, so I get it. And you're gonna be taking this on paved roads, so you really don't need like a, a super beefy, nice suspension system. And it's been okay for the roads and the places I've taken this. The last thing I wanna tell you about are the 12 inch straight grain vacuum tubeless tires. And they do have a mileage rating of 6,200 miles. So you can go quite a long ways on these tires. Looking at this thing go down the road is pretty awesome with that big old fatty tire on the back end. Well, I have just died. Power's gone. I'm actually almost to my house, but I'm glad I turned around when I did because, you know, I don't want to be pushing this thing for very long. Right when you feel the acceleration kind of not uh, not be so poppy anymore. You have about, you know, four or five miles till the battery dies if you're flat out on it, which I was. Okay, I made it back home. Like I said, I was only a couple blocks away, so it wasn't too bad to push the bike or push the scooter back here. But my app showed uh, 22 and a half miles with over 1400 feet in elevation gain, which is fantastic. That is a lot of elevation. So I'm very happy with the range. Usually I get about half of what the range rating is. So I was expecting to get like 15, 16 miles. Uh, so 22 actually surprised me. That's not bad at all. And that was on the highest speed mode. And I was, you know, I was flooring it almost the entire time. So if you ride a little bit more conservatively, uh, even on speed mode one or two, which is still pretty fast speed, uh, I bet you could reach up to that rating. 
The M1's motor produces 124 newton meters of torque. That's the highest torque rating I've seen out of any vehicle I've tried. They say it can climb a 30% grade hill. Let's see how fast and how well it can do that. Okay, well this is the hill test, and this is the same hill I've used in many other videos. It's pretty close to the rating. I'm actually about a half a block away. I wanna hit it with a little bit of momentum. It's just right around the corner here. I've got my uh, speed up open, and about, I feel a little, little less power lately, so I'm not sure what the battery level is. It says I still have a full battery, but I just felt a little dragon power. But here we go, Let's see what we get. Okay, turning right here and it immediately starts to climb. And I'm in the highest speed mode. Right off the bat, 16 miles an hour. Down to 15, down to 14, down to 13. <laughs> well, it's kind of topping out at 13. Hasn't got any lower and this is the steepest part here, holding at 13. Oh, it's climbing, it is climbing. And guys, 13, 14 miles an hour on that hill is very impressive. It's two blocks long and I'm to the top. And uh, that's that's got some awesome climbing power. You can definitely even go, you know, maybe another five, six, seven percent steeper if you're around my way. I'm at the top of the hill. I just came up for the hill test. And needless to say, you know, something like this is gonna have some pretty, you know, high-end brakes. And they do. I mean, I've been riding this for a couple days and, and they, they work very well. I've taken some steep hills and super smooth, nice and powerful. But let me show you, give you a little demo of what they can do here. Yeah, you got tremendous stopping power for how heavy this is. I mean, I could even squeeze them a little bit harder and stop even quicker. Let me run you through uh, the displays and all the things on the handlebars. <laughs> Starting off with the key. It does have a key. Actually has a key fob as well where you can lock the scooter and unlock it, uh, which is kind of cool. Place the key in, turn it. And as you can see, there's two displays. On the left is the battery voltage and right displays the speed, odometer, battery life, and uh, if your lights are on or off. And then also the assist mode, which is on two, Two is the uh, level two is the default. Turn the lights on and off on the right side. The red button is how you change the speed mode. One, two, and three. On the left side are the dim and bright lights, turn signals, left and right, and the horn, which is quite loud and kind of fun. Oh, and then on the top, there's the hazards. When you use the turn signals, there is an icon that lights up on the display. Then here's a front look of the turn signal, which is pretty cool. And then here's the rear view. There's a 60 volt headlights, which is plenty bright for some night riding. I have taken this out when the sun went down and uh, had no problem seeing the road. And then if you switch it over to daylight mode, not nearly as bright, but you know, it kind of lights up. It's kind of hard to see now, but it does light up a little bit. So cars can see you coming. They've also added this phone holder and it is plugged in to the battery and there's a USB port there so you can put your phone in there and charge it up on the go and that just mounts to the handlebars. Bracket back there, which is kind of cool. It's got a nice texture surface. And that pretty much wraps up the screen and control pads. Eohora says the M1 is slightly waterproof. They do not recommend to ride it in heavy rain, which is just kind of common sense. It has a one year warranty and free shipping in the lower 48. Well, these guys are located in Las Vegas, so they are stateside if you have any problems. And they did tell me they have a 24 hour response time Monday through Friday. So any problems or issues you have, you should get a pretty quick fix. Well guys, if you couldn't tell through the review, I'm a huge fan of the M1. That is just a super, super fun vehicle to tear off and to ride around town. <laughs> you get a ton of stairs, a ton of looks, you feel cool riding it, at least I did anyways. It's got plenty of power, the acceleration is fantastic, it does awesome up hills. I'd highly recommend this, it is a lot of fun. If you do want to pick it up, I've got the link in the description. 
And Eohora does give you an accessory bag as a gift for buying one of these things, so kind of cool. I did ask them if you need to register this, and they said it just depends on your city. So if you're gonna pick one of these up, call the DMV to see uh, what uh, they have to say about it. Hit that like button before you go, and please subscribe for the latest in electric bike, board, and scooter reviews. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.